Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explore how you will achieve perfect marks for the AQAA English Literature AS paper. We're going to focus on paper 2, which is um, section A. So, let's think about the structure of your AS Literature exams. So, this paper in particular is 50% of your AS. Paper 1 obviously worth the other 50%. It's a 1 hour and 30 minute exam paper and there are two sections. Section A, which you'll now focus on, is based on one extract and you'll be asked to explore an unseen prose text. Section B is one comparative essay based on two novels. So, a couple of questions for you here which we'll explore in the next series of videos. One, how do you plan your response? And two, how do you write the perfect response? So let's see if you've been revising. Pause this video now, note down, discuss, or however you want to do it, to check that you have an understanding of exactly what you need to do for exams, and when you're ready, press play to resume. So let's look at the mark scheme, shall we? So it's out of 25, this question, and the uh, marks are, you can see, fairly evenly split across your assessment objectives. So if you're going to achieve full marks for AR1, which is your ability to write a debate as a response, you need to make sure the ideas you are using are perceptive, and sophisticated, it's not just too simple, uh, too simplistic. And then, secondly, you need to make sure you use terminology in a sophisticated way across your piece. You may also want to use critical concepts, um, which can refer to different ways in which other critics have written about the piece. Fao two, that's your ability to use references and to make sure you analyse structure, form, and language. Again, to do this, once more to achieve your six marks. You need to be looking at perceptive ideas, not just obvious pieces of analysis. Arrow 3 is your inclusion of context. Now remember, if you're getting six marks here, so you could be looking at social, literary, or historical context. You can also look at the context of the extract itself. So what is happening in the text at that point is also really important. Arrow 4 is your ability to connect ideas across literary texts. Just perceptive explanation across those texts is what you need to be doing here. And I have five is your use of different interpretations. So are you able, for instance, to explore what a feminist writer might say, what a, a, a Russian a formalist might think, for instance, or are you talking about alternative interpretations based on your own ideas? So thank you very much. Let's start to think about how we can now plan and then go on to write this response. So when you're ready, let's watch the next video. Thank you.